there's one thing we all love about New Mexico, it's that glorious sunlight. And that leads a young KOB viewer to ask what's happening to all of it nowadays. My name is Katarina, and why do days get so dark so early in fall and winter? Well, Katarina, you asked for it. Here's your answer. Whether it's a sunrise or sunset, the land of enchantment is exactly that. The sun is part of our identity as a state. We love it so much, the sacred Zia symbol of the sun is on our flag. But during the fall and winter, you might be feeling short-changed in all that life-giving sunlight. It's not your imagination either. Now, during the summer solstice this year, on June 21st, we got more than 14 and a half hours of daylight. But when we eventually get to the winter solstice on December 21st, there will only be about nine hours and 45 minutes of daylight. To understand what's happening with all this shrinking daylight, we have to go to the cosmic scale. So let's get the Earth over here. All right, so the tilt of the Earth changes throughout the year. Now, during the summer solstice, the northern hemisphere is tilted most toward the sun, and those direct sun rays that you see create our summer season and the longer days north of the equator. Now, during the equinox, which happens during the spring and fall, the Earth tilts to give the equator the most direct sunlight. And during that time, we have an equal amount of day and night. Now, during the winter solstice, the hemisphere, the southern hemisphere, is tilted most toward the sun. It's receiving all those direct sun rays. So for them, it's summer. But for us up here in the north, it's winter. And because the sun is way further south in the horizon, there's less sunlight each day. So the closer we get to December 21st, the shorter our days will get. But after that, the days will gradually get longer again and the seasonal cycle continues. Well, that was a great question. Go ahead and record your weather question using your phone and send it using Share 4 on the KOB app or KOB.com, and I'll be happy to answer. Meteorologist Eddie Garcia, KOB, Eyewitness News 4.